Father in Eden, at least. Two hundred loaves of bread. What do you want to do with that? Subway, eat fresh, except he had four hundred men. Jamie. So it's always going to be different when you look at food, right, to set up. If I walk into a banquet hall and I look at it and say, what are you going to do with all this food? It's going to go to waste. I'm looking at it through the eyes, right, to the eyes, two eyeballs, right? I'm looking at it through the eyes of one person, aren't I? Because if you really look at the situation, that was not enough food for them. 200 loaves of bread, they had 400 men, which means each one of them had to split a loaf. Which means each one of them may have gotten eight pieces of bread out of 200 loaves. And I guarantee you they didn't get that. I travel on back to Ziklag. That's it. Go on back to Ziklag. Right? To open up. Open up your eyes and look and see what's really going on. Because I said, God, this is First Samuel. What is this? A chapter 25. And now, First Samuel chapter 30. Here we go with a totally different menu. Bread and water. Piece of cake of figs. Two clusters of raisins. What is going on? Here's another menu, five chapters later, right? Five chapters later. What, what's significant about First Samuel chapter 25? We all know it. Samuel dies. In the beginning, it says, about, talks about, it says that Samuel dies. But towards the end, we have this menu for David and his men. They are no longer running around to churches, robbing the showbread. They're not taking the showbread. They probably didn't rob it. I'm just looking. But, but, but David was a priest, right? He had to be a priest because he was entitled to show bread. They gave him show bread. They got, he would not have been allowed to have show bread if he was not a priest. And then David took the show bread and did what? He shared it with his men, which means his men, they were either priests at that point, priests before that point, or they were, and they were endowed priests at, uh, right then. They were, they were made priests. Which is not that that hard to understand. I mean, we're not at a point where communion didn't come in until what? For the first John uh, 13? That's when communion came in. So we are at a point where Passover was the main thing. And if you're passing over and you ain't passed out, so, right, I give you some bread. The priest shared the bread with uh, David and his men, right? So it was a big deal because what happened was the priests were charged with providing for, for a man that was accused of treason. And with that, they lost their lives. But here's the thing. They provided bread for David and his men. And so David and those goats, we talked about the other day, those goats, they were all goats, right? They were they killed David in First Samuel chapter 30. But if we flip ahead a couple of chapters, right when they were running from uh, Saul, that David got them bread and shared it with them. And if he could eat the bread and share it, we had a priest passing out to communion amongst the people, amongst the people. What happens when a priest passes out communion? I loved, I loved, I loved what my pastor did. Um, it was a Good Friday night, I think it was. Yeah, it was Good Friday night. And him and Pastor Digi, as Pastor Digi was on the right, and I, I Pastor, Pastor David was on the left. And so I went on the left, right? Y'all know me. Y'all know me, right? I'm, I'm a, I'm a kiss up. So anyway, I went on the left. And so I could not stand up long enough to do it. I was shaking and my foot was in so much pain. But Jess went and got the communion from him and gave it to me. Jess went and got the communion from him and gave it to me. He was passing out communion, passing out communion. Tell me, the man of God isn't meant to do it. Uh, both David's, I see it. I hear now, right? I'm not cut out of the A picture of David, right? Passing out the bread, passing out the bread to his men. There was a blessing that was on it. There was a blessing that was on it. Those men were, uh, uh they were, they were, 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 were re established, right? They were, they were, they were, come on, they were, they were built up, building yourself up in the most holy faith. They were built up. That's what God said. Go to that scripture, Jude 20. They were built up in their faith. They were built up because there was no way that a piece of bread can do it for them. There's no way that a little small disc and a little cup of juice can do it for me. But I'm going to be built up. And just as you see it, right, David stood 
in front of the priest of Nob who would lose their life after it who would lose their life after that who knows if the, if the blessing of the priesthood was it passed from those priests onto those men onto those goats they became priests after that right because David stood as the king and passed it, took the bread from the other priests and passed it out to these goats and those goats became priests because they ate the bread they ate the bread in the temple right now faith God said it right there I don't know why I just said that but God said it now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence the evidence the evidence of things not seen if you can't see it open up your Bible find it and read about it hallelujah but God says there was a special blessing there on Good Friday night when he passed out the bread and the cup and the cup and the cup and he said something he pronounced blessing over everybody that he gave a, a bread and a cup to on Good Friday. Good Friday became great. Good Friday became great Friday. Yes, God. Good Friday became great Friday. Yes, God. Because I because they God said it right there. They used to that. There's something about it being passed from hand to hand. Because what they used to do is pass the cup around. Pass the cup around. Right? Pass the cup around and drink from it. Drink from it. And I don't want to drink anybody else's spit. However, if my pastor passes me a cup, uh, it's something about hand-to-hand combat. My back, uh, uh, it's something about hand-to-hand combat. So back, uh, and God said he was there. He said he was there. Uh, it was combat. Uh, he said the two Davids were posted. The two Davids were posted. Uh, and there was a David uh, singing. There was a David singing. Was it there? there was a David singing. He said the three. He said the three. He said he's going to use, do more. And they will come up. They will do more and bring forth God's glory as the three. David singing and the two Davids were on the floor huh? passing out communion passing out communion and speaking over the people speaking over the people and passing out the bread passing out the bread that's how God said if you don't do it with words that's why it needs to come from somebody it needs to come from somebody's hand to our hands if you don't because he with his words he spoke blessing over me when you do the bread and the wine and he speaks and he speaks and here's the thing I had to sit down so just gave it to me and here's the thing he still spoke over me. He did not have a, he doesn't he doesn't he has no idea about this and he probably thinks I forgot. I did not forget. He spoke over me. Bread and wine. Mama he spoke over me. And it was bread and wine, and he wasn't whining about it. There was no whining in it. Hallelujah. God said it's your job. If you want to, God said you're purifying temples. When you give out the word and the communion like that, you're purifying temples. It's your job as the pastors, right? As the pastors to purify the temples, to purify the temples, to purify the temples. Hand to hand combat, to purify the temples, right? You're purifying temples. You're not giving bread and juice to people. You're purifying temples. Now I see why he gave me that scripture right in the middle of it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You don't see me. You should see a temple. When I come up before you, when I get communion before you, bless my temple. Come on, speak over my temple. Come on, yes, God, I'm barely making it in. You better do this thing, God. I'm done with this. Oh God, my God, I'm barely making it in. The last place I was at, all I could get was bread and 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 and, and, and water. Piece a cake a face two clusters of raisins. I barely made it in. Speak over my temple. I'm a temple. Father, I'm a temple. I got barely on me. Speak over me. Oh, when you pass it out. Because if you don't speak over them when you pass it out, they will pass out on the way out. I noticed this morning when I was looking at uh, Jesus feeds the 5,000. I was looking at Jesus feeds 5,000, Jesus feeds 4,000. I said, what is the difference? Holy Spirit said, hey. I said, um, um, Holy Spirit, because th- these are long stories. I can't get on there and read these. They don't stop listening. I already got like one listener. <laughs> and actually, I think I know who it is. So look at it. How can I read this? There's one person that's been listening. I'll be honest. There's one person that's been supporting and listening since I've been doing this. Since I've been since the, since the beginning. So I kind of feel like, oh yeah, I think I know who it is. I think more than one person listening. I'm plugging out, but what happens when ministerial success looks like? Are you listening? What 
happens when the success of our relationship lands at C. But wait. It really lands at, are you listening? Because God, we must worship God by faith, right? Now faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is those things, right? But God is a God by faith because he's unseen. He's made, he's, we see him by not seeing him. We see him knowing that he is a God that we can't see. So if you have a God that you can't see or a representative of God that you can't see, it's an idol. It's not a God. It's nothing. It's the opposite of God. It's actually anti-God. Faith is substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but faith comes by hearing, not by seeing. I said every time I say, see me. But I close my eyes every single time. Because I'm praying. And I'm, I'm, well, I do that every single time. You have to look this good. And I'm just making a funny noise. I, I, I am, but I'm actually praying while I'm doing it because there are two people that I want to see me. And so I say it, thinking, hoping, knowing that at the end of the day, they, they don't know I'm doing this, right? They don't know I'm saying any of this. So I'm just praying and praying to God. God, I've never been seen by anybody. I want to be seen by them. When I close my eyes, even though I'm asking God to make them see me, right? I close my eyes when I do it because faith comes by hearing. So if I'm praying about them seeing me, I close my eyes so that I can see the unseen God. And so that we can uh, connect by ears because we don't connect by eyeballs, right? If I oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. But once you know, we know that the Lord is good, right? Um, after praying by faith, right? Knowing that by faith we connect with him. I hear him. I don't, I don't, I don't. Touch him physically. I, I hear him. Right? Pastor David read this um, scripture on Sunday. He saw about how many people wanted to come close and touch Jesus. And I said, ew. But they got skin cells on their hand. Ew. I wasn't saying ill for Jesus. I wouldn't say ill for, for the person actually touching him. I was saying ill for the person that would actually touch him after him being touched. Right? Because the skin cells. And I don't have questions. Do, do you, how many skin cells um, have to be on your skin before it blocks my blessing? Hmm. This is a, a question. This is a, 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 a question. It's a question from, from, from the community of Barely. We don't know much, but we want to know that. Because if I keep touching the same spot that you've been touching all day long, I'm touching it, right? I'm touching. It's not a blessing anymore. It's a skin tag. Hmm. Are you listening? I looked at the story, right, of Jesus feeds the 5,000 versus Jesus feeds the 4,000. I said, what is the difference? Holy Spirit said faith. That quick. And I said, Ugh. Because so much information, I can't just take out one uh, uh, verse and say, okay, here is where it is. This is what happened. Uh, no. You, you, you guys look at, if, if you look at, here's the thing. God said, change the way you look at things, right? Because uh, you, this is why you're not all tasting the scene, because you got to change the way you look at things. Because if you look at the, uh, the story of Jesus feeds the 4,000, you don't see a lack of faith. You see, wow, you see a miracle. But when you look at Jesus the 5,000, you, your eyes perk up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> these people start to look like a mine, mine. And these people start to look like Eli, Eli. Right? Mine, mine is a, a picture of a mine, mine, take well, you pass it, right? Uh, that, that was, you, you've been weighed in the balance and have come up wanting. Mine, mine, take well, you pass it, right? And then you have Eli, Eli, Lama, so the knee. Now, even though the, I make that statement sometimes, and people will say, Jamie, why are you making that statement? It's because, in fact, I'm not talking about what Jesus was saying. I'm talking about the connection that he had to his father. Because through everything that was going on, through the traffic, through the spit, through the mocking, through the fact that Jesus' eyeball was hanging out to stop kids, through the fact that God's back was turned to Jesus at this point, he screamed, Eli, Eli, Lama, so the knee. When Jesus prays, and 
and go through our lifetime, do you realize we never hear him? We really, we never really hear him cry out to God. We, the only time we hear Jesus praying to God is when he gives a model prayer. So when he gives a model prayer and he's teaching us, he's going X access, right? So that we can go Y access. But we don't know what Jesus is saying when he's praying to God until this time comes. Jesus goes from being barely making it to the cross, right? Uh, to desperate for God. He just, he leaves the barely community and he is just a desperate for God. Maybe that shouldn't be my sweatshirt. Hashtag desperate. Hashtag thirsty, mama. But hashtag dying without you. Hashtag need you. Hashtag need more of you. Hashtag can't do this without you, God. Hashtag I don't even know what this is. What is this, man? No, I don't even know what this is. But whatever it is. Hashtag I need you to do it. I started bawling yesterday. I said, my pastor went to India. I said, what in the world? Who said what the who now? I wasn't begrudging him going to India because he fly. He completely fly. Like he, 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 he's so fly, he don't even know he fly. Like he got, he got, he got, the emperor got a new groove. He took it from Pastor David. <laughs> he got it from Pastor David. He got to get that back. You, you owe uh, Pastor David a groove, emperor. It's a cartoon. Don't play me any mind. So anyway, he owed him a groove. He took it from Pastor David. Pastor David's fly. Right? So when I come back, he went to India. I said, God, I can't go in, into my own, my, my, my main, with, with the blood family. I can't go into their house. I can't go into Jersey. And he went into India. I'm just learning how to end everything, give thanks. And he went to India. <laughs> and then, I'm not begrudging, Mama Kadaha, but I'm looking at it. But I, I still remember the, 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 the thing he spoke on, Psalm 133. How, behold, how good and blood pleasant it is for brethren to, to dwell together in unity. Maybe that's why I'm not going to India, because I don't like everybody. I said, I don't know. I don't, I'm be one to dwell together in unity way, Bob, because everybody, some people just be smacking for skin tags. They be smacking for skin tags. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get to the point where I, I said, God, he got to share. I'm bugging y'all, but he got to share. I don't care. I can read Psalm 133 here a whole bunch of times, a whole bunch, a whole bunch, but he got to read it in, in India. And people listened. And then I, I got this burning, this itch inside of me. Remember how I got this itch in me to share the gospel about how so much so that my neighbor came and was kicking my door to get me to stop. About how I had to turn this thing off and explain to him why. About how the blessings of the Lord make it richer. That no sorrow to it. I'm speaking in faith. About how I said, I'm not going to stop from sharing the love of Jesus. But wait, I'm not done with you, neighbor. I said, I'm not done yet. Remember he kept trying to go upstairs. I said, I'm not done yet. Remember how I'm not done yet. Now, he gonna, every time you come around me, hop in and smile. And talking to me every day is that I'm not done yet. I'm not tired yet. I'm just trying to get in everything. He went in India. I said, I don't care what nobody think about him. He's doing something right. He went to go talk to people in India. And he ain't only preach at one church. He preached the act of two. I'm not I said, I got an itch. That can't nobody scratch. He went in to India. He went in to India. Hallelujah. We can't get in our inner prison. Right. We can't get in the inner courts of God. We can't be, be, be not anxious. What you, Jamie? I can't do that. Be not anxious. That's why are you only in America. You local. <laughs> I'm not going in. You local. I need to be worldwide. I got to do what counts, what takes me worldwide. I think it's because it's gentle. I'm telling you, I want something that's gentle. I think it's because it's, it's gentle. He got mad at me the, the other week, and he was, when he was talking to me, it was hard. It was hard. I'm telling y'all, it was like I thought he was beating me with a brick. But he was do, doing it gentle. Nobody even noticed anything was going on. It wasn't like he got to get up and scream. He's so gentle that even when he's beating people, you don't even know. <laughs> I feel like he's beating me with seven bricks. <laughs> I'm bugging y'all. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. Don't don't mess with him. He no. Don't mess with him. I don't play. <laughs> I don't play with him. My new name for him has become Sir. I don't even call him by first or last name. His name is Sir. If you ever see me talk to him, I say yes, sir. Sir. That's it, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. You are you are the general. You captain. You the captain. I don't play. He captain of Captain Crunch. He is a captain. Captain Young. I don't play. Yes, sir. All day in India. I've gone from in New Jersey to in Maryland. 
Maybe God is trying to get me to exit the borders. Maybe he's trying to get me past the borders. First of all, I ain't going nowhere when I'm a pastor unless God says so. Uh, God tell me to and I'm going to have to go because God, you know, sometimes he, he hits hard too. But, not, but, he, he, but God's got 18 bricks and he'll just beat you with them until you, you know, yes, God. And you put up a finger, you put the, the church finger, the amen finger, and you finally go. You know, I don't want to be a Jonah. I don't want a whale. Not so much. I don't mind a whale. Like I'd like to, um, you know, ride a dolphin one day. But I don't think it was like that. I think like riding a dolphin and having a dolphin do tricks, you know, ee, ee, I don't think it was like that for Jonah. I think Jonah was really in the, the in, inner inner well. I said, make her what about my inner well? You because I'm asking God, what about my my me going to India? What about my India? He he asked me, what about my in the well. What about you get in the well? What about you doing that wilderness? You asking for richness and what about the wilderness? There's always a stage that you got to go through to get to somewhere and I'm telling you he didn't get that for free. He had to go through something to get to India. I want to go talk to India. I want to wear a sari. I know God is like, I'm a, Jamie, you're lazy. So sorry, you can't wear a sari. First of all, he wouldn't wear a sari. Miss Andrea would have wore a sari. I know she would have fly in it too, right? She got, she got a groove too. Of course she went home, she got a groove, right? She would have worn, she would have worn but so sorry, Jamie, you can't have a sari. You can't go to India like that. You can't go to India because you can't get inside of your inner prison right. You can't get in the well right. You can't get, you, you look and you judge Jonah for his inner well, but you don't know what I did to him with that. There are certain things, we look at the Bible, we judge people for what they go through, but we don't know. Because I'm judging Jonah, oh, you had to go into a well, Jonah, you couldn't ride no dolphin, you couldn't ride Shamu, you couldn't ride Shamu, Jonah, blah, blah. maybe not, but check this out, Jonah wasn't, um, Jonah didn't come up a couple years ago, what was it, 10 years ago, dealing with porn? Jonah didn't do that. Jonah have a porn addiction. Christina keeps saying it wasn't porn, but I don't know. I don't know. I think God looked at it, 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 it whether it's on sin or weight, lay aside, I didn't lay it aside. Race out so every weight that so easily beset you. That's why you ain't running to India. You can't run to India. You only, you started running. You only ran to Maryland because you you got weights on you that you didn't set aside. So you talking about Jonah not being able to rush him? No, you got weights on you that kept you from leaving the country. I've been to Turks and Caicos. I've been to Haiti. I've been on mission trips, but never for God. So I don't count them. That was my job, and I couldn't. Was it? I was there to talk about Jesus. I want to go. I want to, and then, India is just a picture for me. I want to go somewhere and talk about, and talk about that tree. My, my, I want to go somewhere and talk about Barely. My, my, I want to go somewhere and tell people he took me from Barely to desperate for him. I'm not da, 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 desperate for the him. I'm, I'm, I was desperate for the him. Right? The H-E-M. Da, da, now I'm desperate for him. My, my, da, 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 I want to touch it. My, my, people who are touching him give him a skin tag. Touch him just like that. Y'all know that's what skin tags from. Those bumps that people get on the neck is because of the fact that people, it's, it's too much manipulation of the back of their head. Y'all like that when people touch the back of your neck when you're brushing it? No. Stop that. Smack your hand. Smack your hand when it happens. You're not supposed to do that. You get skin tags. Any place where the skin is manipulated too much, it will, 